Hello, this is Scott here. So for last month or so, I've been working on adding uh, the Hinks Picks smart receiver support to x -Lights. So Holiday Coro and the uh, the, Alpha, the Hinks Picks Pro CPU, they support these smart receiver boards. So there's the four port board, and then there's also the 16 port receiver. So I made this, right now it's a custom version of x -Lights. Um, I have all the code in a branch. So for the season here, I kind of just wanted to get a build out there that people could use. There are some minor little bugs and things in there that I need to clean up eventually, but for I just wanted to get something out there that people could actually use. Um, there's little gotchas that I'll kind of show as we go along. Um, I, I'll put the EXE, the installer for this build in the description and on my website. And probably until after Christmas, this will stay a separate build, and then I'll, I'll merge it into the main version. So you'll have to kind of use this version. And if there are fixes, I will try to make a new new version. Whenever we have you know mainline fixes, I'll merge them back into this build and put a new one on in the download. So it'll be a similar file. So I'll keep it up to date. But just for now, I kind of want to get a build out there that people could use. So this is uh, this is it. Um, so the first thing in the controller tab here, you have to have an Hinkspix controller. Uh, you have to have the Hinkspix Pro set up as the vendor model. Uh, here's the IP address of my controller. Um, I recommend having the auto layout, auto size option. Uh, this is my controller. This is the web page on it. Um, I have the long range output board set in ports 1 through 16. So if we want to hook a smart receiver up to the first port in that long range, it's going to be ports one through four in X lights, and then the second port on that long range receiver board, the second RJ45 jack, would then be five through eight, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to hook up my smart receivers to the first one, so it'll be like one through four mostly here in this demonstration. So once you have the controller in here, then in the layout tab, Let's just add like a mega tree here. So I'll just make a standard like 180 mega tree. So it'll be 16 strings by 50, kind of the standard. For the controller, you want to say it's on the Hinks picks. It's kind of um, you have to kind of require that you use you say it's on the Hinks picks because then that'll populate some other options later on. So since I'm going to put it on that first bank of outputs, I'm going to just say it's port one so that'd be the controller port and once we set that then we can set the controller the smart remote id so the hinks picks can do up to 16 um, smart receivers in a row so we'll just set it as zero which would be the first one and once we set it as zero there'll be an option of smart receiver type so you can either set the four or 16 the four is the default so i'll just leave that as four and uh, we'll hit save. There is another option here that's called Smart Remote Cascade Length. And I'll go into explain that a little bit here. So by default, when we set this model up as six, it is 16 strings. So that means when we hook this up to the controller, we'll go to the visualizer here, I'll show a better demonstration of it. This will actually, use four smart re smart remotes on the four differential outputs. So you'd have to plug in a remote one through four, then on the second output, second one. So you'd have four sets of ethernet cables going back. So let's say we wanna like cascade them is what I call it. So like if we want to do the first remote and then plug in the second one, that's what this cascade length value is. So if we set this to four, you can also set this in the model in the layout tab as well. It's the same property, it's just in both locations. This will basically allow you to now daisy chain four smart remotes, that's what the four colors represent, off of each other. So you'll set the ID of the first one, which if you look in this little pop-up, there's the third thing from the bottom. It says smart remote Hinks picks four with a colon zero. That means this one's zero. And this is kind of one of the minor bugs. It doesn't show you the IDs of the other three, but it increments them by one. So this would be one, two, three. And um, how the kind of the data stream works in the controller, the strings go down the remotes. 
So you'd plug in string into the first remote port one, but then the second string of the tree would go into the second remote and its port one. And then the third remote, its port one would be the third string of the tree. So it kind of goes down. And then port two of the first remote would then be port five and then kind of so on and so forth. So that's how the data stream works in the controller. So that's why I mapped it like that. That makes it the most efficient. Um, it's a little confusing when you're doing multiple, but it's something you kind of have to watch for. Um, and so right now we have a set to four. Um, we have four four channel smart remotes. If we wanted to set this to a 16 port smart remote, we would right click and set the smart remote type here, and we can select 16. So when we do that, you'll see what it did. I know what it did, but what it ended up doing is since we had that cascade value as four, it set four 16 smart remotes, which is probably not what we want. So let's set that cascade length back to one, which will basically be one. And kind of this looks very similar to what we had when we did four fours is under the hood, the 16 is kind of just really four, four ports, but the numbering of the strings now actually makes more sense. So this would actually match and it doesn't tell you this in here. You kind of have to just know that's something I'd like to improve. But um, so port, this would actually be port one. This would be port two on the 16 port, and this would be port three and four. And it would actually follow the logical, x is actually following kind of the logical port number now with the 16. And with the 16 as well, if you hover over here, it shows port zero. This has to be port, or it shows ID zero, sorry. And um, the 16 has to be either ID zero, four, eight, or 12. And right now it lets you set any value, which will cause an error in the controller. So you kind of just have to know it has to be those values right now. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll enforce some of those rules, but it's kind of one of the limitations. Right now, I just didn't add any of that functionality yet. So once we add all, once we set this up as a 16, we can then um, minimize this here. And we should be able to then upload to the controller. So I've already done the uh, universe inputs, but if you were doing a fresh control, you'd need to do the inputs. So I'm just going to do the outputs here. And um, Xlights will go through and kind of calculate everything for you. And once it's done, for the changes to work, the controller needs to reboot. So at the very end there, it actually said it's rebooting. And once it reboots, then I'll send the configurations out to the smart remotes. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta make sure you always reboot the controller because that's when it configures the smart remotes. So we, we gotta give it a good 30 second count here for it to reboot. Um, but once it does, this is the controller page that came up. And how we configured it, so I set it as a 16 port, and we set the ID of zero, and then it'll automatically set the ports here. So kind of how I was talking, the first of the 16 is one, then the second, since it's actually under the hood, kind of just four, four ports, you have to then just plug it in as one, two, three, four, and it'll follow. So this kind of worked as I expected. So yeah, this looks like everything is working. And if you set as zero, that's DD. So um, if you're not setting like a tree like this and you want to use the four, you want to use the 16, kind of like I said, it's really just four fours under the hood. So you would have to, like if we wanted to set this up as, we wanted to set like two strings on our 16. What we would have to do let's we would have to set the first one So what I did here is 
And then we got to set the type as well. So we'll set them to 16s. So if you could kind of see what I did is this is set to six, the uh, Hinks pick 16, and this is port one. And then I used uh, smart remote ID zero, and then this is smart ID remote one. But on the physical controller, this would be port one on the smart remote 16, and this would be port two on the smart remote, even though here it still says one how it goes down the ports, this would be one, then two. And there's nothing that really tells you that in this here right now. You kind of just have to know. Like, let's, um, that's kind of one of the minor things. So let's just upload it and I'll kind of, sh it'll show it a little bit here. Um, we gotta wait for the controller to reboot again. So I'll give it, couple seconds here before I refresh it. I have the controller mounted on the wall so I can see it rebooting. So let's hit refresh. If you see the first string is on port one here and then port two is really the second and you can see when it starts at 51 since those strings were both 50 long so one and then two so so when you want to use like the 16 you kind of have to go down it assume kind of that it's four fours basically is the assumption you have to make um so that's kind of the basics. Um, if you have any questions or running into any issues, please email me or get, contact me on Facebook. Uh, I'll have a link to my website in the description so you can just email me there. Um, I'm willing to help. So if you need help, uh, contact myself. I'll get in the Zoom room. There's like the official x -Lite Zoom room. Uh, I'll hop in there and help out if needed. I also have my own if you need help. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to make sure I kind of did this all on my own. I'm not really affiliated with Holiday Coro. So if you need help with this stuff, you kind of got to contact me and not contact them. So um, I'll put this build out there. Um, if you have any questions and you help, yeah, like I said, just contact me and uh, I'll try to do my best. So uh, uh, thanks.